Naruto viewer comments on list of characters you want to know more about. Let's go ahead and get started. Connolly Bob nine. I want to know more about Madara and Hashirama's lives. One thing about Hashirama is that he's supposed to be the most powerful shinobi to have lived since the Sage of the Six Paths, but we don't know how he died. How did it, a single person or group of shinobis, and how? Very good question. Thanks for the comment. South Dallas 20. I have always wondered, could Sanadi be Naruto's grandmother? Nice angle. Could the second Hokage be Kakashi's grandfather? When the series started, no one would admit Naruto was the fourth son. I don't even think Naruto knew. But after Naruto met Minato, everybody just knows that made me mad. Then we all found out Ino and Sakura were cousins. Sanani is also part Uzumaki. Through Mito, her grandmother. Very good points. Thanks for the comment. And South Dallas 20, another comment. I want to know more about Sakura's dad. Since in the road to the ninja movie, he was the fourth Hokage, yet not heard from in the anime or manga, but one episode and he seemed normal. He didn't even look like a shinobi. Uh, there are so many, I'm not going to do a whole lot of comments in this video, but there are s just so many characters that we don't know about. And I'm, I think this is what I said in the original video that it's just amazing how many of them could just be flushed out and how much time it would I mean it, it they're, but they're interesting they're just not backstories <laughs> we don't know anything about them thanks for the comment and let's see zep p0013 I just want to know more about shishu yeah a lot of people do a, a lot of good things uh, even though I'm mainly just reading a list in here there were just so many good responses I'm just gonna go ahead and make uh, a video on them so here it is and thanks for the comment. Vegeta Badass, the third Hokage, the second Hokage, Jiraiya, the first Hokage, Izuna Uchiha. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for the comment. Prognastia. Prog I don't know. I'll just take a guess at it. I'm not sure. Uh, P R O G N O S I C A. In no particular order, Shishu, Hashirama, Tobirama, Hirazen. And we could do. I'm not really sure about that last one, especially. Okay, thanks for the comment. A lot of good, awesome choices in here. Uh, DT Ninja 831. I'd like to know more about all of them so far. They're pretty good. I'm a huge Itachi fan, so I would like to know more about Shishu Uchiha. After all, I would like to think the Uchiha clan more than just average. <laughs> Just more than Avengers and Killers. Itachi was brilliant, but he was also kind. And I believe Shishu was not only one of the most talented Uchiha, but he was kind-hearted as well. His techniques were used so many times in the story. Wish we could see more about him and what role he played in the clan and even in the fight with Danzo. Itachi is one of my favorite uh, characters of all time. Uh, maybe the most because of the complexity of them. Somebody, it, it's just hard to imagine a character that, it, that you could feel. It isn't just you hate them and like them at different. Uh, the intensity, just just you know, feeling bad for him here and then just. He's this killer, you know, and you just despise him. This guy needs to be taken. And then you're finding that, uh, you know, and then it, it, you, you feel bad for him. And you're, I mean, and then you're actually like, oh, my God, is this guy a hero on some level? Which is just amazing for, for a character to, to get that many different intense feelings about one character. So, uh, wow. Kishi, I mean, <laughs> amazing job on Itachi. Um, Truly amazing. Uh, thanks for the comment. And DT Ninja 831, another comment. His technique, the uh, Kotu. <laughs> Kotu Amasuka Kami. 
is one of my favorite techniques. I know I'm not even getting this close. It's the highest level of Gengitsu in which allows the user to enter an opponent's mind and manipulate them and give false experiences. These illusions appear as crows flying around. Its powers were so great it could stop the Amaterusu, but it's like many Uchiha Jitsu just could not last forever. Thanks for the comment. Another one from DT Ninja831. Shishu originally had intended to use it on Danzo to convince him to cease the mission of eradicating the Uchiha clan, but Danzo stole his eye in a confrontation. Shishu gave his other eye to Itachi. Uh, Itachi intended to use it, its power on Sasuke to change his mind about attacking the leaf. I would like to know more about this way of Shinobi and Shishu passed on to Itachi. A true Shinobi is one who protects others from the shadows. Very well done. Danzo, what an amazing character Danzo has been. What it's just, he's almost at, at every step uh, critical, you know, to, to doing whatever evil thing is happening at the time. It's just, he, what an amazing, horrible person. And that's the person that um, they, that I guess Madara, you know, was wanting to, um, oh, Obito, uh, on Dara's essence, whatever, was, was trying to get in charge of the leaf, you know, the whole the whole time. That's just uh that's just amazing. And if he wasn't such a coward, I guess he would have shot at had a shot at it, right? <laughs> God what a Danzo, what a what a horrible person, huh? What a horrible character that was. Uh okay, let's see. Thanks for the comment. And let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and skip that one. Um Super Koi. Second Hokage. I want to know more about his life and how he felt about the first Hokage. Yeah, the relationship between the two brothers, that would be pretty pretty interesting. I think we actually know more about Madara and Azuna, than we, which we don't know a lot about, than we do about um, the first and the second. So, I'm sure it was hard to live under his brother's shadow. I would also love to see him in action. His water jutsu is known as the best. I also have a feeling Kakashi might be related to him. And that is the reason he wears the mask. Because he has the same lines on his face as the second Hokage. Ooh, that would be interesting. Very, very interesting. The hair color, same. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. But he doesn't, he definitely, Kakashi doesn't have the Senju body. I guess he, you know, not saying that he couldn't be related to him. I, you know, maybe just partially, you know you know, a small amount or something. It's pretty interesting, actually. Yeah, real interesting. And then, uh, hmm, that's making me kind of stop and think about a few things here. I mean, the relationship between Madara and Azuna, he pretty much takes his brother's eyes, and at least so far, now maybe he's done something for his brother, but so far it seems like he's just dispensed of his brother, which is pretty much what I believe. And I'm sure that these two brothers, from everything we have seen from the first and the second, really did, did care about each other. So it's kind of the opposite kind of thing. They weren't disposable to each other. So, yeah, good good stuff. All these are pretty good. And let's see, uh, thanks for comment. And Sukiyomi, second Hokage, definitely. All right. Yeah, there's, there's he was, the, the whole, what was it, his time-space stuff, um, the, the whole... Uh, thing of the, the jitsu bringing everybody back he's the one that perfected it before which Rue got a hold of it and everything good choices very good choices um, and new person that I haven't seen comment before you said I don't remember thanks for the comment by the way is J H E 1970 F T W I think some of the Naruto characters in part one were explained fairly well especially during the Sasuke retrieval arc we got to know more about Kiba and Akamaru, and we had a decent Choji backstory that explained his friendship and Shishikamaru. She, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna take one more shot at this. Shikamaru, probably not close, but anyway. The only ones left, we need our Tintin, Ino, and Shino. Kishimoto did state a while back that we should keep reading to watch 
Our favorite characters shine brightly. Konoha 11 versus Madara 10 Tails. Sounds great. Love your videos, Rampage. Keep them up. Like the positive note. Appreciate the positive energy. Uh, good choices. You know, 10... Uh, excuse me. One... I have to say, 1010 is a character, I think, that... I, I almost think maybe... Um, I don't know. This is... There's so many characters you just look at and you, you want to know more about them. You, you know, just just you have the initial little bit you know about them. And you go, wow, this is they're interesting. Let's let's know more. Tin Tin is is probably the the character that I I don't know that I'm least interested in. To be perfectly honest, I, I look at, I look at Tin Tin. I go, you know, I I think you could have had a better a better character. But then again, Kishi and his female characters, he doesn't do it. Well, he creates interesting ones, and then they, they don't really fight in, you know, in battle as much. Although they do have their moments. Uh, what, Conan versus Toby? That was pretty That was pretty good. He does do some. All right, well, anyway, just, just uh, I'm kind of just rambling here at this moment, but I really do appreciate it. I wanted to go ahead and make a video on this because there were some awesome choices in here. And, of course, when you, when you do see these choices, there's always, there are always more that you want. Um... There are just so many characters in Naruto. It's just amazing. And, um, wow. Wow. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. <laughs> this is, there's a lot more characters to think about. Uh, I want to go ahead and say I really appreciate all my subscribers, old and new. I really do appreciate. I appreciate when people uh, participate in this channel. This is making, making videos in and of themselves is fun. But it's, it's a lot nicer if somebody's watching them, and especially if, if you can participate. We can kind of participate in the discussion, which we're doing right here. Um, and there's not a whole lot of commentary I have for this video because pretty much uh, viewers and subscribers went ahead and took care of that. They had some excellent information here. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video right here. All right. I appreciate the support from everyone. This channel's primary function is to have fun, and it's mainly about fun, about covering Naruto. Now, you can always subscribe. You can always unsubscribe. You can do anything that you want to. Until next time, take care.